All right. This is OLC TV News, and we are here reporting in the Garden of Eden. Uh, I'm here with, um, what's your name, sir? Sam. No, no, no. I thought it was Adam. Oh. What's your name, sir? Adam. And I'm also here with... Eve. And Adam and Eve have just been kicked out of the uh, Garden of Eden. It's a, it's a really sad story. Uh, what was it that happened? Uh, why did you get kicked out of the uh, Garden of Eden? Because we ate fruit. You, uh, was there something special about this fruit that you weren't supposed to eat it? God said not to. What? And uh, Mr. Adam, why did you do it? She told me to. Ah! Oh, well, now we know the root of all of it was that... Uh, the, well, no, no, no. There, now, who told you to eat the, uh, the apple? The snake. The snake came in and said, uh, now, who do you think was behind this snake? Who? Devil. So, we think that the devil was who came in. And there's a microphone coming in our shot here. Uh, we think that the devil came in and uh, had a problem with that. So, I tell you what. Now we kind of all know what happened in the Garden of Eden. Uh... Do you guys feel like it's uh, kind of a shame that I, all that happened? Sam? Or Mr. Uh, Adam? Now, can you sit up? You're, you're kind of doing something weird there. <laughs> How do you feel about all this? Not happy. Okay. And Mallory, or Eve? Uh, kind sad. Of it all happened? Yeah. All right. Well, this is Birch Perkins reporting from the Garden of Eden, and uh, we'll catch you on the flip side. All right. Cut. Two. All right. One. Action. Hi everybody, this is Birch Perkins and I'm on the set of uh, Noah's Ark. I'm here with, uh, what's your name sir? Um, my name is um, Noah. Ah, and this is Noah's wife, which... Um, Noah's wife. Oh, we think it was Sarah. It's a fake Sarah. Sarah. This is Sarah, that's great, I probably should read more. Anyways, what's, uh, what's kind of going on here? Why are you building this thing? What is it? It's a boat. Does it have a special name? Yes. What? It's an ark. But now, who told you to build this um, ark? God. God did? Mm-hmm. Okay. Uh, what is this ark built out of, Sarah? Wood. It's built out of wood. How about that? So it's a large wooden boat. Now, why are you building this? Because, um... Start again, please. Okay, I'll start. Because um, God um, um, saw um, the other people um, on earth, um, they were being mean and bad. And um, so he had to um, uh, make um, a big, big, big wave of um, water like a tsunami. They did it all the way over the world. The, where, did, where did all the water come from? Um, the ocean. Did it rain? No. It rained for 40 days and 40 nights. Now... Uh, was it a big job getting all these animals together, Sarah? Yeah. Yes. Uh, how many animals of each kind did you get? Mm, six, six, two. So you got two of each, and that's because we wanted to make more animals? Now, well, what's going on in the background here? Can you guys kind of move out of the way, and we can kind of get a shot of uh, the animals that are kind of making their way in, into this boat back here? Or, I mean, I'm sorry, the ark. Uh... Uh, there's uh, two lions, two mosquitoes, there's some two rabbits, uh, there's uh, two turtles, uh, there, and there's a white-headed turtle back there. So it looks like it's pretty cool. Now, so what's going to happen? Uh, who's going to clean the bottom of the boat when it's all over with? Um, I don't know. Maybe God and us? Well, it looks like it's going to be a big job for whoever has to clean all that up. Well, this is Perch Perkins reporting from Noah's Ark, and we're out of here. Are we recording? Okay, everybody. This is Perch Perkins, and I'm on the set of uh, Noah. No, this is uh, Moses freeing the Israelites. I'm here with Moses on the right over here and Joshua, his uh, friend. Now, let me ask a couple questions. Now, what what is actually going on here, Mr. Moses? Um, God, God said to... You better. What, you what, be what did God say to do? I know you're to free the, to free. Um, what were they called? The Israelites. The Israelites. Uh huh. Um, okay, and now why did you need to free the Israelites, Mr. Joshua? <laughs> because we needed to eat your hair. Okay. Now why did we need to free the Israelites? 
because he he was making them build the pyramids. The Pharaoh was making the Israelites build the pyramids. It's it was a hard hard job. Everybody was sweating and hot, and they didn't get paid much. Well, so what did Moses say was going to happen if he didn't let them go? Bad stuff was going to happen. Well, I've got a list of things that he said, and I'm just going to mention a couple. Probably one of the worst ones was uh, a plague of frogs. Now, what would that look like? Let's pan the camera back here. You guys move out of the way. What would it look like if there was a lot of frogs out there? Oh. Okay, okay. All right. Okay, okay. Everybody back. Everybody back. Okay. Now, what if there was a plague of what if there was a plague of flies? What about a plague of flies? Oh, I can't. I can't stand these plagues. Oh, oh, the plague is terrible. Okay, okay, okay. Everybody, sit down. <laughs> you got. You messed up my. You messed up my TV here. Okay. Okay, sit down. Sit down. Sit down. All right. So, so uh, Moses. So, did you actually lead those people? Did you actually lead those people out? How did you do it? Um. Well, um, I, I secretly, um, went, went past the gold and, um, I told the people to come. That's right. Moses went in with a special staff and he said, all these bad things happened to the Egyptians. And finally, the Pharaoh had had enough and he said, okay, you can take them. But guess what? The Pharaoh didn't give up. So there was a couple miracles. There was a pillar of fire that came up and burned a bunch of the Pharaoh's people. And then Moses parted the seas. And the Israelites were able to just walk right through them. But then the Pharaoh chased after them and the water just crashed on top of them. And then that was the end of that. So they eventually they made it to the promised land. So this is Perch Perkins reporting from Moses and the Israelites. We're out. Hi folks, this is Perch Perkins and I'm on the set, I mean I'm in uh, Jerusalem and Jesus is coming into town. Uh, looks like he's riding on a, a donkey. So uh, here they come, and all these people have lined up, and they are waving palm fronds. Well, look at those palm fronds they're waving. It's just kind of a beautiful sight. Uh, I'm going to pull somebody out of the crowd here and just kind of figure out what's going on. Hey, uh, hi, sir. Uh, wh what's your name? Devin. Devin. Wh what's, who is this? Chicken. I mean. That's Jesus. He's got a beard and all kinds of stuff. Have you heard anything about Jesus? What can he do? Ride a donkey. Ride a, okay. Have you heard of any miracles or anything? He does miracles. Have you heard any of those? No. Nope. Uh, okay. Well, let me give you a couple of examples. One time he raised some guy from the dead named Lazarus. Uh, I bet he had to wash his clothes. Uh, he also turned some water into wine one time. You, hey, I heard he fed how many people? You ever heard how many people he fed? Five thousand. Five thousand people. Well, what do you think he's going to do with that donkey when he's done? Get off, get off of it. He's going to get off of it. All right. Well, what? Let me tell you what. This is a great story, but I think there's more to it. So let's get back in just a second, and we'll tell you the rest of the story. Cut. Okay, folks. Am I in the shot? Excuse me. Oh, I didn't. Sorry, I didn't fix my my hair. Okay. Hi, I'm Perch Perkins, and I'm on the scene of Golgotha. This is apparently where they have taken Jesus to be crucified. I'm here with a Camry, and I'm going to try to figure out what's going on. Camry, why is Jesus here? Um, he's being crucified. <laughs> now, you have to talk up a little bit louder, because they won't be able to hear you. What happened? He be crucified. No, why would they crucify him? He's supposed to be the son of God. <laughs> they don't believe him. <gasps> what? Well, that doesn't make sense. But he did all those, um, you know, cool, ex well, miracles. He did all those miracles. But I'm going to guess that made some people mad because some people didn't think that he really was the, the son of God. Do you believe he's the son of God? Yes. You do? So do you think he should be up there? Yes. Why? It, was it in a prophecy that he had to die for us to save us from our sins? Yes. <laughs> it was. Well, this is uh, Perch Perkins reporting from a somber state of Golgotha, and uh, hopefully we'll come back with some better news. Okay.
I'm Perch Perkins here, and uh, oh, I forgot to turn my um, light on here. Gotta get my. Okay, or, hold on, I gotta get my hair right too. Okay, uh, I'm Perch Perkins here, and I'm at the. Uh, what is this? This is the uh, gravesite or the tomb of Jesus, and something miraculous has happened. Uh, I'm going to talk to uh, Mary Magdalene, who got here first, and ask her what's going on with the situation. What happened, Mary? Mm -hmm. I got to talk loud on this microphone. Was, G was Jesus here when you got here? Mm, no. He wasn't here. Well, was the tomb empty and was the, the stone rolled away? Yes. It was rolled away? So, as in, like, that's a big stone. How'd that happen? I don't know. <laughs> Another miracle, maybe? Well, who was here when you got here? Was it an angel? Yes. Well, we just happen to have that angel here right now. Uh, he's kind of small, and he lost his wings, but he can still get around. Uh, where is Jesus? He risen. Why is he not in here? Because he risen from the dead. Was he supposed to rise? Yes. Well, like, so should we expect to see him on the road to Damascus or something? Yes. All right. Well, hey, guess what? We also have here a soldier. Found him. This is a soldier that was supposed to be watching the tomb all night, and I let's find out what he saw. What did you see, sir? Mm. I think he might be too scared to talk because uh, whatever happened must have been so miraculous that it just shook him to the very core of his boots. So... Well, I tell you what, let's just move on. I think there might be one final part of this story. I'll talk. Oh, get out of here. Okay, and cut. Wait a minute. Say it again. Who are you? Jesus. This guy's Jesus? Wait a minute. Hey! This is Perch Perkins, and I'm on the scene with Jesus. And I've got a couple of people. This is supposed to be Saul, but Saul's grown his, grown his hair out. So anyways, uh, what's going on here? Is this Jesus? Yes. Could you tell it was Jesus at first, though? No. Why not? Yes. Well, he was kind of uh, brilliant, and you couldn't really tell who it was, right? No. Well, no, that's what it says in the Bible. I'm not supposed to be telling you that. So, like, what are you doing here? Hmm. Where are you guys heading to? Jesus. Heading to Jesus? Well, guess what, Jesus? What are you doing here? And what's your message to us? You got anything to say? Nope. Okay, well, guess what? I think Jesus wants to tell us that we should stay on the straight and narrow path, that we should always love each other and treat each other as brothers and sisters, and to always love one another as we would have ourselves want to be loved. All right, folks, this is Perch Perkins signing off from the road to Damascus, and I want to say thanks and good night. Cut. <laughs>